What is up everyone? Welcome back to the channel. So today we're hopping into a guide for the Sith Eternal Emperor event. Uh, one of the most frustrating things about Galactic Legends is the ticket system. So you don't want to miss out on any character shards by failing the event. So we're going to go through mods, everything you need to know to get through each one of these tiers to make sure you get your GL as fast as possible. So let's hop over and get started. But before we do, as always, if this is your first time on the channel or have been watching and have not hit that sub button, be sure to do that for some more Star Wars Galaxy of Heroes guides in the future. All right, let's hop over. First thing we will look at is the team's mods for this. Uh, so Darth Sidious you use for tier one and you want to have pretty good mods on him. Uh, one thing before we hop into mods, I did throw the Zeta on this character. You can do it without, but I didn't want to lose any tickets, and if you've got that spare Zeta, throw it on there. It's going to make it much, much easier uh, with Sadistic Glee having that Zeta on there. And what that's going to do is allow you to recover a bunch when you take out another character. So uh, whenever a unit is defeated, you get an additional 35% uh, evasion against Jedi attacks, more potency, and you gain max health equal to your potency percentage. So it's really, really big when you take out a character uh, and really can kind of turn around uh, the battle as far uh, as if you get bad RNG goes. Uh, so for mods, I went with a speed and health set and I pretty much took the fastest mods that I had available and focused on speed and potency. So let's look at his stats real quick. For speed, I went for 335. So almost as fast as I could possibly make him with the mods that I have available. And what that's gonna allow you to do is get two attacks in uh, before the two side Jedi get attacks in. So it allows you to get more attacks in uh, at the start of the battle, which is really, really helpful. Uh, potency, I've got 86.97%. Uh, if you can get closer to 100%, it's even better having high potency on this character. It will help out a ton. Landing those dots and more particular, those exposes is huge for that tier. For Jedi Knight Anakin, I didn't do a whole lot uh, changing as far as mods go. So if you've got a really well modded Jedi Knight Anakin with uh, crit damage and crit chance set, you're probably going to be in pretty good shape here. Uh, the big thing for tier two is just making sure that you've got high damage going out because you've got to out damage uh, Mace Windu in that tier. So I'll show you guys the stats I have on him. So speed's not particularly great, uh, 254, but he's got high crit damage and overall his damage is pretty high as well. So that's really the main focus you want on Jedi Knight Anakin. And then Darth Vader and Emperor Palpatine are used in tier three, and this could be the most tricky if you don't have them modded correctly. So for Darth Vader, um, I went with my normal set, which is a crit damage, um, crit chance set that has a decent amount of potency on there. The big thing with them is you're wanting to be able to land those debuffs on basics. For Darth Vader, you're wanting to get ability blocks, and for Darth Sidious, you're wanting to hit shocks because that's where uh, all the damage is going to come in, and really from uh, uh, Emperor Palpatine's lead is the big deal. So I've got 270 speed, which is quite a decent amount of speed on him. Uh, potency is not particularly great on my Vader, uh, so 63.13%, but it is enough to land uh, those uh, ability blocks quite often and not really have any issues going through that. But the higher potency that you have, the easier it's going to be. You could probably even go with like a speed health set with really high potency like you do with Darth Sidious and do really well with Darth Vader in this event. And then lastly, let's take a look at Emperor Palpatine. Now I did throw the Zeta on his unique there, which gives him 50% more protection. He was the one that I was struggling with the most as far as staying alive, and I'm really glad that I did. If you're having issues, um, or if you think you may have issues, I would recommend throwing that Zeta on there for that additional protection is really huge. Now for him, I went with a high potency set. You want him to land that shock, uh, which is going to be really, really big deal. So he's got over 100% potency. Uh, which is really going to make that event go quite a bit easier. All right, let's hop over to the event real quick, and we will just do a playthrough on these and show you how it goes. All right, let's hop into Tier 1. It's going to be Darth Sidious. Now, with this one right here, you do not want to attack Mace Windu at all because you cannot take him out. Uh, so don't make that mistake going into there. Get some classic lines from the uh, movie, I am the Senate. 
All right, when I go in here, I usually target Kit Fisto first and go in with the AoE. Got a lot of debuffs landed there. And then if if he doesn't have an expose, I usually go after characters that have those exposed. So uh, this Jedi right here can do a heal, so it's really nice to kind of get him out early if you can. And then I'm gonna go after this other one because he's got an exposed there, and you're just gonna wanna get them out as fast as you can. Let's go ahead and target Kit Fisto there. And then see the health regeneration is really helpful when those Jedi go down. So um, that one right there, it's really about mods for the most part. I do recommend that Zeta. I think it will make it much easier for you uh, going into that. And then for the next battle, this is Anakin versus Mace Windu, one on one. And this one is just all about damage. So if you can out damage this Mace Windu, just make sure that you've got good mods and you'll be golden on this one. This one's probably the easiest of uh, the tiers that allows you to get shards for Sith Eternal Emperor. So go in, I hit Overwhelming Assault. I like getting those buffs. It usually takes off all of his protection. And then there you can just kind of basic it the rest of the way and uh, pretty easy to take out Mace Windu. Uh, this one, by far the easiest. Just make sure you have high damage mods uh, going on your um, Jedi Knight Anakin there and you will be in good shape. Now this one right here I think is the most frustrating and this one takes 60 tickets to get through and uh, I came close to losing this one a few times and uh, making those mods right and that Zeta on Emperor Palpatine I think was really really helpful. Now for this one a little trick you can start off with is doing Merciless Massacre first and then go into Force Crush. Didn't land anything. Like I said, my Vader doesn't have the best uh, potency right now, but the main thing we're focusing on is ability blocks, and then all that damage is coming from Emperor Palpatine's lead, uh, taking percentage away from uh, Jedi's health. So you're really just wanting to keep him at bay by getting those ability blocks landed, and you see it at 60 something percent uh, potency, I'm having no issues getting those ability blocks to land. All right, then you come into the second part of the battle uh, with Emperor Palpatine. And one thing that is key here and will give you very, very high success is you just need to basic. That's all you need to do. And when that shock lands, you're golden after that. So uh, sometimes it takes two or three times for the shock to land. I got pretty lucky there with landing on the first attempt. But after that, uh, that extra damage from the shock and then his lead just eats through his health and makes it very, very easy. But like I said, mods are key here. Make sure you throw high potency on there. And then if you're worried about this one and it's 60 tickets, it's, it's a lot of tickets to lose. I recommend throwing that Zeta on uh, Palpatine's unique there. Um, you should probably already have his leadership Zeta and make sure you have that. Uh, but the unique is very, very helpful at adding all that potency on there. And then we will go ahead as well and show you a quick look at what you need to do to work on the ultimate. Uh, this character has probably the easiest ultimate battle that you could possibly imagine. You're not going to have any issues when you get to that, thankfully. Uh, so, But I usually throw in Vader, throw in Royal Guard so you've got a taunt going in there. Uh, you really want to make sure that you're at Relic uh, for, uh, for this event. And... Um, usually want to have all the Zetas on uh, Sith Eternal uh, just to kind of go ahead and have him maxed out so you don't have to worry about that. And I'm assuming most of you guys are probably going to have him at pretty uh, high gear level uh, when you go into this. Uh, but you just link the two and then you just wait for the ultimate to happen pretty much. It's pretty uh, pretty easy. Like I don't even really worry about uh, damage with these other two. You just kind of come in, let the ultimate happen. And then when you get the big attack off here, it is going to be just wiping them out after that. So there goes Kylo and uh, Rey got the dodge in there, but this should take her out. Easy, easy way to get your ultimate abilities. That tier is the same in uh, tiers four through six. So it's going to be the same battle over and over again. Uh, very easy to do. So. That is it for the guy today. I hope this was helpful for you. Uh, make sure that you throw those Zetas on there if they're available. I think that they're really, really helpful on uh, keeping me from losing any tickets. And uh, make sure you get the mods right and you guys will be go golden. So uh, that's it for today and I will see you guys. In